we are going to compare three fractions today and this can work on three or more fractions more than two start off with very simple fractions let's say we got three fifths one fourth and two thirds we want to find out which fraction is the greatest and which fraction is going to be the least and we're going to put them in that order from greatest to least the easiest way to do this is have the problem in front of you and do and create what's called a table. What we're going to do is we are going to find what's called the common denominator. Now, notice I did not say least common denominator because our uh, goal is to determine which of these fractions is the greatest, which fraction is the least, and put them in that order. So we're good with finding our common denominator. Now in order for us to find the common denominator, all we got to do is multiply all three of our denominators. 5, 4, and 3. So we simply are going to go ahead and multiply our three denominators. 5 times 4 gives us 20. Then multiply by 3, we end up with 60. So our common denominator for this problem is 60. The next step is we are going to create new fractions for each of these fractions in our table with our common denominator of 60. So we start off here 60, 60, and 60. Now we have our new denominator of 60. In order for us to get 60 we needed to have multiplied 5, 4, and 3. We notice that we have a 5 for a denominator. The two numbers that are missing, which are the other two denominators, are 4 and 3. So 4 times 3 gives me a total of 12. Now this 12, I'm going to multiply it by the numerator. So 12 times 3 gives me 36. So our new denominator is 36. Our next denominator again is 60 but the new denominator that we have here is 4. The denominators that are missing, which are going to be 5 and 3, again, from our common denominator group. Since 5 and 3 are missing, we know that 5 times 3 is equal to 15. This 15, we multiply by this numerator, and we say 15 times 1 equals 15. And the last one, our denominator of 3, our new denominator is 60. What denominators are missing? The other two, 4 and 5, which 4 times 5 gives me 20. And this 20, I multiply it by the 2. So 20 times 2 gives me 40. Why do we do all of this? Because now we notice that out of these three fractions, we know that the denominators are the same, so we no longer have to worry about the denominators. We are now going to concentrate on the numerators solely. So, as we notice these numerators, let's say we were to compare these from least to greatest. Least means the smallest, so the smallest numerator up here would be 15, which represents the fraction of 1 over 4, so 1 over 4 would be our first fraction. After 15, the next smallest numerator would be 36, and 36 is representative of 3 over 5. So 1 fourth, our next fraction would be 3 over 5. And last but not least, our last numerator, 40, notice that 40 is the greatest numerator uh, out of all three which would mean that 2 over 3 is the greatest fraction out of all these three fractions, so we end up with 2 over 3. This is by far one of the easiest methods that I've come up with in order to compare in order from least to greatest or from greatest to least more than two fractions.